everybody. My name's Tim. I'm from the Federal Reserve Bank, and I've been on the DevOps team for about six months now. So this is all really fairly new to me. Um, and I'm going to correlate it to kind of what I'm seeing here. You know, just got this big, green, open, expansive lot with a little bit of solar power going on in the background. Because this journey of DevOps for me, this is brand new. I'm kind of that dinosaur, you know, the, in this case, that gargoyle, that archaic image, you know, from times past. I was a Windows Server administrator. And I've only been in IT. <laughs> Guilty. I, I confess, I have a Windows problem. Now, part of breaking out just my Windows Server shell has been a lot of retrospection, a lot of diagramming out, a lot of figuring out what it is I know. You see, I got into DevOps because of my love for PowerShell. I, I love being able to automate. Um, I, I love this idea of having a plan, of having things mapped out. And I got really tired of spending my Sunday mornings, click, drag, click, drag. I wanted something more. I wanted something better. Actually, what it was is I was studying for the uh, 7410 Microsoft Server exam, and I got so, you know, you know, swirl with the PowerShell stuff, I just absolutely fell in love with it. Or in this case, bird. <laughs> because just like all the other birds, they're like, server administrators, everybody's going this way. And I'm like, no, wait a minute. I, I like this automation thing. I like this idea of being able to tell the computers to do it for me. And I'm seeing a house here. So, you know, this is kind of the houses I wanted to build, you know, that was operating system agnostic. I wanted to be able to do more. So in the last six months, I have learned so much. And shout out to my colleagues back there, um, Tom, Sherry, Aaron, Lindsay. Thank you guys. Sherry is really taking me under her wing. Uh, kind of like the cat down here that's kind of keeping an eye on everybody. Stay back. And she is really happy to get into that developer role. That mean cat right there. Absolutely. And, and this is my manager right here. I tell you. He is just in charge. He's got the, well, the captain's hat on and he is steering the ship. And it's just been a wonderful opportunity to be a part of this DevOps shop. And this is Aaron right here, you know, top of the line, first class vehicle. I mean, it's a Kia, but you know, this is one of the nicest keys that they've got. <laughs> you got to understand, he's been with the bank 15 years, and he just transferred into the DevOps team about the same time I did. And, you know, we're both trying to learn things as we go. Lindsay, there you are right there. You know, Lindsay and I and Aaron all came onto the DevOps team around the same time. So I'll go ahead and be Sora. And I don't recognize that character. That is not Kyrie. But... Again, this idea it was a brand new adventure. None of us really knew anything about what DevOps was. Again, we kind of had this old school technology of the way things work. Uh, Lindsay, the developer, Aaron was in the uh, uh, access management, and myself on the server admin. So we kind of came in with this different mindset, and we didn't know how to get there. But we kind of got behind some of the, you know, I'll call them the wise old sages, you know, you know the, the head goat, if you will, the ones that really knew what was going on. And they just directed us. And really what happened is um, the bank is getting so much new work taken on. Well, they had to expand. They had to build. And this is a good thing for any team to have. What am I looking at here? Oh, I probably should have worn the glasses. All right, so we've got a train coming on here. And you know what? Maybe there's a bigger train because that was for us. There was a bigger train coming. There was more work coming, and they needed to expand the DevOps team. So it was time for that team huddle. It's time to get fresh faces out there. Time for us to get trained up on brand new skills, skills that we didn't have before. So here I am, I'm learning Linux, I'm learning Docker, I'm learning the jukes and jives of Docker, not knowing one thing what I'm doing. Seriously, I asked a friend of mine, CJ, another one of my coworkers, one of the guys in charge here. Um, this is, yeah, I like this one. So I'm, I'm learning how to sort by with Docker. I'm, I'm learning my Docker queries here. And I'm like, okay, I've got my Docker stood up, it's on this VM. What do I do with it? It's, just, it, it's there, it's a thing. I, it, do I jump over it? Do I? Like, seriously, I'm sitting at this terminal. Docker's installed. Docker version. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this thing. And then my computer crashes a week later and I lost it. However, I had also been studying um, technology called AWS. And AWS was the long lost time. I absolutely fell in love with AWS. And really what it was is I was learning, okay, how can I make these VMs on the cloud? And then I kind of got distracted again, squirrel or bird, um, or in this case, castle. I read an article on somebody how they made a uh, really kick-butt gaming system out of their uh, a, uh, EC2 uh, box on the cloud, and they run all their games on the cloud. So I was like, forget work, I'm going to do that. I want, I want my castle to move. Forget castle. Let's just make it a mountain. Let's make it this really big gaming rig, and then I'll just throw all my video games up on it. And, you know, I've had to continue to study, and I've had to continue to develop, 
learning EC2 and learning the S3 and everything along with um, AWS. And I know I'm not being vendor agnostic here. And honestly, I don't know enough about this technology to know the competitors for AWS web managers. <laughs> and here I am, the Microsoft guy, right? Um, Docker, you guys have said LXC, LSE. I, I see. I don't even know yet. I'm so new to the, to the thing. Well, guys, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much.